Uh, we did a review of the current literature on uh, carotid stenosis and uh, um, we found that uh, there is a definite indication for invasive treatment for uh, patients who have uh, uh, very well defined symptoms uh, and uh, a uh, high grade uh, carotid stenosis on uh, the proper side. Um, patients, and when I uh, talk about uh, um, invasive treatment, uh, I mean primarily surgery. Um, patients who have, had, who have a high-grade carotid stenosis but have uh, had uh, no symptoms of a TIA or mini-stroke or a transient blindness in one eye, then uh, the decision-making process is uh, much more uh, difficult and uh, decisions uh, need to be individualized. In patients without symptoms and the carotid uh, stenosis, the um, risk, the yearly risk of stroke is uh, uh, fairly low and uh, many of these patients uh, might benefit from uh, medical tra treatment without uh, uh, invasive treatment of uh, their disease. The other aspect in our uh, review we looked at is the potential role of carotid stenting in patients with uh, carotid stenosis. The current stage, uh, there is a uh, um, feeling that uh, surgery is the gold standard unless patients uh, are considered to have uh, uh, risk factors that would make surgery riskier than what the acceptable risk uh, uh, for surgeries and uh, therefore there are uh, several large studies that have been recently completed or are undergoing that are specifically looking at the issue of uh, whether or not carotid stenting is as safe and as durable as surgery which is called carotid and arterectomy. Um, the recommendation for patients that are found to have uh, carotid blockage is to be evaluated uh, um, in, by a team uh, of uh, physicians uh, that have expertise uh, in the medical treatment of carotid stenosis, prevention of stroke, correction of risk factors, as well as uh, expertise in the invasive uh, uh, treatment uh, of the disease when indicated.